this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I've got something new for the channel. This is the the Cozy Nook book su subscription book box, let's call it. Cozy Nook book box. And um this is a bunch of goodies and a book. This is the September box. Now, just let me explain for a minute that um, each month there's a theme. Now you can go, you can get the regular theme one, but if you contact them uh, before shipping date, or, or I don't know before when, but if you contact them and tell them that you're not interested in in the theme, then you can get a surprise box and tell them that the genres that you that you like. Uh, your books to be. So the September box is a foodie box with all sorts of uh, food items, uh, food related items, and the book was a um, cute, uh, cozy uh, uh, food detective mystery type thing. Uh, so that, yeah, food isn't my thing, and in fact, actually, for my boxes, I've asked her to give me coffee instead of the snacks, so. Uh, I wasn't really interested in a foodie box, and I don't read Cozy Mystery, so that wasn't the box for me. So I said, please send me a surprise box, and that is what she has done. So I am excited to open this. Let's use the X-Acto knife to get the tape undone. I know nothing about what is going to be in here, except that the book will be one of the genres that I've told her I like. I think I've told her horror, thriller, true crime, science fiction. <laughs> I don't know. I gave her a few genres. So, this is pretty exciting. <laughs> so, here we go. And uh, this isn't my first box I've gotten from her. So, one thing that I'll tell you is that her boxes are filled full of stuff. So let's just, oh boy, oh boy, this just looks fantastic. Okay, so, well, we can see what some of these things are, but let me just move it over to the side and we'll take out an item at a time. So let's start with the mug. Oh, that's nice. There's uh, nothing on it, but it's like, it's got texture on it, and it's nice. It's a, uh, it's a um, ceramic mug. So nice. Nice size. I really like the size of this. Okay, then here we go for some Starbucks coffee. The Blonde Roast, and this is instant coffee. I've gotten this in a box before. Oh, what to do next? Okay, Anti-Stress Clay Mask. Dead Sea Minerals. Hmm, I just want to have a smell of that. Hmm. Smells nice. Yep. So I like using clay masks. Actually, I haven't done masking in a while. And then, oh, these are socks. Oh, these are so nice. These will be really comfy. Oh, I like this kind of sock too. These are, I wonder if these are hand knit. They kind of look like they might be. Those are nice, really nice. I'll keep my feet nice and cozy. I don't think these are kind of socks that I would wear with a boot. This is more I would rather them in the house. Put them on when I'm going to read. <laughs> okay, now what is this? Books give life to everything. Is this one of those book covers that I've seen? Oh, it is. It is, too. I've seen these. If you're going somewhere, you can put your book in here 
or I guess you could put your Kindle in it as well and put it in your bag or take it around the house with you so your book doesn't get all uh, messed up and stuff. Works really good for hardcovers, I think. Okay. Still more. <laughs> oh, bath salts. Oh, I love this. Vanilla bath salts. Mmm. Let's take a smell. Ooh, very strong. Okay, let's see. Oh, this has their own branding on it. Cozy Nook. Ingredients. Sea salt. Okay. <laughs> I guess what they should be. A little notebook. This is this is useful. I, I use notebooks all the time. Okay, and then we have a brightening mask. Glam up. That's fun. I like to uh, put a sheet mask on when I go in the bath. Oh, and very exciting book is Jennifer McMahon's The Invited. And I have read some of her books, but I have not read this one. So this is exciting. A Chilling Ghost Story with a Twist. The New York Times best-selling author of The Winter People returns to the woods of Vermont to tell the story of a husband and wife who don't simply move into a haunted house. They build one. Well, that's interesting. Let me put my glasses on and we'll read the little thing. In a quest for a simpler life, Helen and Nate have abandoned the comforts of suburbia to take up residence on 44 acres of rural land where they will begin the ultimate, aspirational, do-it-yourself project, building the house of their dreams. When they discover that this beautiful property has a dark and violent past, Helen, a former history teacher, becomes consumed by the local legend of Hattie Breckenridge a woman who lived and died there a century ago. With her passion for artifacts, Helen finds special materials to incorporate into the house. A beam from an old schoolroom, bricks from a mill, a mantle from a farmhouse, objects that draw her deeper into the story of Hattie and her descendants, three generations of Breckenridge women, each of whom died suspiciously. As the building project progresses, the house will become a place of menace and unfinished business, a new home, now haunted, that beckons its owners and their neighbors toward unimaginable danger. Ooh, I love ghost stories, and oh, I am really excited about this. I haven't read, I think the last book I read by Jennifer McMahon was The Winter People when it came out, so I'm a little bit behind with her. This is good. So great. Look at all these things. And will the book fit in the book bag? Oh, yes, it does. Just perfectly. Well, let's put that in here. So it's made to, it's made to size for these large size hardcover books. That's perfect. Perfect size. So there we go. Let's pull out, the, pull out the book a bit so we can see. Notebook, mask, socks, clay mask, coffee, bath salts, and a mug. Whoa! I'm really happy. <laughs> Lots of stuff to make me comfy and warm as the cool weather starts to come and a great book to read. So I will definitely be reading that. Uh, I'm probably going to save it for October. So yeah, because I've already put together my TBR for September. So that'll be great to go on my October one. Really happy. So once again, this is the Cozy Nook uh, book box and it is Canadian and uh, so if you're Canadian, this is a great box to get, and you don't have to be Canadian to get the box, uh, obviously. <laughs> it's open to everyone, I would assume. So I'll put all the details below so you can go check her out, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching my unboxing. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.